Okay, this one is showing off um, both the attenuator and a voltage source, and then a two-way switch, and uh, then we're going to the eighth-inch adapters. <coughs> so there is a ringing AV dog. Um, there is a gong which is being triggered um, from uh, the rolls section, and then another AV dog which is being triggered. Uh, triggered from the rolls section. This AV dog is just basically being used for a CV source um, which is going into this attenuator um, the output of which is one of the inputs for this two-way switch. Um, the other input for it is the CV out of the gong which is being triggered and just has um, a slight delay on it. So um, both of the outputs, one from the AV dog and one from the gong, are going through attenuators. Those go into a two-way switch. The output of that switch goes to the FM input of the ringing AV dog. Oh, uh, the eighth inch. That's not being used in this one. I don't know. Or no, I got Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Um, that's for the voltage source, which is basically just doing the FM and on the uh, chaos of one of the triangle or of one of the uh, quantasy oscillators. So turn these up. So uh, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and do. Um, switch it, let's see, this one is obviously the uh, AV dog, so Okay, there's those two. Now this one, uh, we'll go ahead and turn the FM source on. Chaos is on. It's not chaosy. Needs to start bringing it down. It goes into chaos. So that was one of the ideas for the just the regular CV out. Um, a lot of the blues would be a good thing. Um, all of your uh, verso and verso inputs on the uh, plum butter. I feel like would be pretty good candidates for your just static control voltage outs. Um, Two-way switch can be inputs or outputs. Um, I've found these to be very, very useful. Um, and I've already done some videos of the AV dog splitters with um, just some alligator clips before, a while ago, not with the expander though, so I guess I'll do a couple of those.